Let's recall that uh, this case began in 2010 when the PNIG, mm -hmm. uh, you know, agreed with um, Nigeria, so to speak, to build a process, a gas processing facility in Calabar. There was an agreement yes. according uh, to them, yes. and they said that uh, Nigeria reneged on its part of the agreement and so instituted uh, this uh, suit. But then the lawyers of Nigeria went ahead to prove that the, beyond reasonable doubt, mm -hmm. as it is, uh, that this case was a matter for which these persons were going to defraud the country. Mm -hmm. As in fact, there was a time, I think in 2017, when the case came up, uh, Nigeria requested for time yes. you know to look into the matter extensively and then put forward their yeah, argument yeah. as as it was and now we are seeing the result but one thing i would like to see happen is those because we are looking at a matter of corruption fraud and all of that let us now go a step further to find out those who were part of these yeah. deal mm -hmm. then we can say that okay uh, judge, uh, P, uh there's um we say that uh, want to see um, judgment being done, or how do we put it again? What, 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 but we want take, to see. Don't think this will take a long time because you, you know. We want to see persons being brought to account, basically. That's, basically, that's, yeah, that's but the it, 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 might, it might take a long time, though. But it, we, my my fear is that it will not impede on this case to affect what uh, the goings on as regards this case in the this UK. This did not let's affect just, anything. Let's just, let the case it, has been done and dusted. Yes, done I and want dusted. To yeah, but my issue is. Let us, you know, bring these persons. Let us finger them, find them out, there might be a and lot, bring them. Of course, we know that there will be a lot of people. But yeah. let us, both, both in Nigeria and abroad. Of course, mm -hmm. because you cannot carry out such a fraudulent act mm -hmm. without some accomplices true, true. back home. So who are these persons? Let's bring them to book. Let's use them as examples for others. Mm -hmm. It is not. I think it is not enough. No, 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 it's not. It's for not. us to allow this case end here. Who are these persons? Mm -hmm. Bring them to account so it serves as a deterrent to others who have, who have found themselves or who are engaging in fraudulent acts such as this. Whether they be whatever level they may be, they should be brought to book. Because mm -hmm. this matter of not holding persons to account is what has brought but us to, to it, this level. To at this, this level, point, yes, where people believe point. that they can commit a crime and go away with it, and nothing will happen. Even if we, we have a we, we get a situation whereby it's okay, there's a committee that have been set up to investigate. At the end, what do we get? Nothing. We should follow through we should. as citizens. Yes, we should. This country is ours. We should follow through. We can't just sit down and fold our arms and believe that nothing will happen mm -hmm. when we are not asking questions, when we are not putting pressure in the right places to ensure that we get the right answers. We have the freedom of information. Yes, there are uh, limitations to that. True. But then these are questions that Nigerians need answers to. And Who a, are the persons that aided them? And it's also a point as a government to ensure that we read between the lines whenever we're signing contracts of this nature. Mm. Ensure that Nigerians are not, I agree. we don't get um, swindled mm. by all of this. Because there are times that let, let's let let's not. But there are times that you see a contract or you see an agreement. Most times, people flip through the, to the back and sign without reading the dotted lines. In fact, some people do not understand what they are what reading. They are that reading, is why yeah. you get a lawyer, lawyer to, help to help you help interpret you and interpret it to you. So you know what you are signing. Mm -hmm. If you are signing your life off, or <laughs> if you are signing <laughs> your future off. But then it's important that we mention this, and I like the fact that you brought that up. That we look through the contracts we are signing thoroughly. Thoroughly look of what the benefits Every is contract. it to the country mm -hmm. in the immediate and in the future? Because it's the future. $11 billion, do you, we know how much that mm. is. When we look at the current situation with the Naira to the dollar, mm -hmm. we know how it's a lot. Mm. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. So, But gratefully, lot. we are not going to pay that as it is. No. But so, then again, what so could have happened? Now, the, no, the Minister of uh, the, the Justice Minister is saying that there will be further hearings in the UK by the UK courts to determine the cost payable to P&ID. But we know that it will not be the $11 billion. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a good thing. It's so good there's still thing. some monies that will have to come Definitely. out but at the not, end of the day. But not, not the $11 billion, billion dollars as it is. Mm -hmm. But my issue here is we must get to the root 
of this, this matter. How did we get, who were those that aided them on this side? Whoever, the other side, it's none of our business, but on this part of, in this side of the country, who were those that aided them? Another interesting fact here is that uh, the ruling was delivered via mail. Yes, via mail. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting one for me because we've been looking at uh, reforms for the judicial system. And I recall that there was a judgment in Kano State talking mm -hmm. about the NNPP that, was, that happened, you know, via uh, Zoom, Zoom, I think. And we saw there was some level of opera reaction to mm -hmm. that judgment and all of that. But we are seeing here that the judgment was done via email. In the, in the light when of this, get to this? and ID case, I, I was watching a video yesterday about Estonia. Mm. Estonia delivers um, everything. Everything about Estonia is about is online, including judgments and in, uh, court proceedings mm. are done online via Zoom, via Skype, anywhere you can have. Even if to you make want the to, process to make seamless. The process seamless. Even if you want to pay taxes, you do it online in the comfort of your home or you go to your office, your laptop and everything. So this is... I feel this is where we should go to. This is where we are heading to. Having court judgment, it doesn't um, reduce or demystify the level, the, the way the, the judgment will be passed. We mm -hmm. don't have to sit in court every day, all day, to get a judgment. You can easily get it while online, anywhere, anytime. You can get a judgment and we move on. Mm -hmm. You don't, well, journalists, like, we don't have to be in the court at least. Mm -hmm. At least. But you monitor, you the, monitor proceedings. the proceedings to get the meat of the story, mm -hmm. to use the story. So it's easier for everybody or anyone to access mm -hmm. and listen. Absolutely. And it also makes the process, I, I believe, transparent. Yes. Uh, but uh, the reaction we got with regards to that of the NNPP in Kanu uh, seemed like um, Nigerians are not yet at home. You, you know, we are getting to the point. Some of there, this process is because the, COVID-19. Yes, too, it changed we, a lot it, of things. It, it, we tried, yes. but it didn't work. During the PEPT, normally the there were arguments for and against live broadcast. But mm -hmm. what, you saw what happened. Mm. The process was transferred. Was, um, uh, the judgment was given live on TV. Mm -hmm. So we're moving to a different level. We're gradually, we're, getting, we're gradually, there. gradually getting there. <laughs>